People around Haydar, Nebraska, expressing outrage on Facebook this week after a woman shared the story of a neighbor shooting and killing two of her family's dogs. Authorities not pressing charges, saying the neighbor said it was in self-defense, fearing the dogs were attacking him and his wife. KCAU 9's Rebecca Pryor brings us the story from Haydar tonight. The fence to this side of me is where the dogs were originally playing. The neighbor tells me they couldn't have gotten out for more than five minutes or more. When she came out to check on them, yelling their names, she heard gunshots. She then found their bodies by this flower pot dead, shot with a shotgun by her neighbor, who claims himself that the dogs were being aggressive and threatening him and his wife's life. It feels empty. The Gilcoin household is a bit quieter now. The first night I had to come home and they're not, I mean, they greet us at the door whenever we come home. That was one of the hardest things I've had to do in my life. And the noise is something that they miss. She was just a sweetheart. Dixie and Daisy were two of four dogs the Kilcoin family owned until the two terriers somehow escaped the fence and were shot by Tim Reeks, the next door neighbor. The sight that I seen is something I will never ever unsee. The Reeks declined to comment, but police say the neighbors reportedly felt threatened for their lives and were within their rights to take action. Anytime an animal's attacked, if you feel an animal's attacking you, you're on your property, you have a right to defend yourself. That's all the excuse he needed. Feared for his life from two small dogs that only stood about ankle high. Combined, the dogs weighed roughly 30 pounds. An autopsy report from the vet claims both Dixie and Daisy were shot from behind. Where they were laying, it was plainly seen they were running away from him. They were at the, at the edge of his lawn. Kilcoin says no one was scratched or bitten and that the dogs have never been aggressive in the past. Police say this could have been avoided. It's always important for the person that's a pet owner to make sure that, number one, that they have their dog restrained uh, and keep them on their property. Like, I'm not going to say I want him to go to jail or, you know, all, or I want him to pay this extreme fine. I just want some sort of justice for Dixie and Daisy because this wasn't right. The Kilcoin family say that they'll be taking legal action in order to pay for vet bills and counseling that they say they need after what they believe to be a traumatizing incident. Any other money left over from any other type of legal reward they say will be donated to a local animal shelter. Reporting in Hayter, Nebraska, Rebecca Pryor, KCAU 9 News.